Hello, it's Paul again. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a different natural resource that we all use, water. Now, according to a survey done by the Eden Project fairly recently, and the work's on, the, on their website, so go and look it up, uh, we should use less water, and they've listed out some ways that we could actually do so. Apparently, the average person in the UK uses about 150 litres of water a day, which is quite a lot. So if we can find a way of reducing that, that's surely got to be a good thing. So what do they suggest? Well, first of all, they suggest taking shorter showers. Well, that's a good idea, a fairly obvious one, I guess, and it might not be the most popular thing on a, on a cold winter's morning, but certainly a good idea that we should spend a bit less time in the shower and, um, and use less water. Secondly, they suggest that we install a water meter. Well, that enables you to keep track on what it is that you're using. And obviously a great idea to, uh, to, to enable you to, to see how much you're using. And, and if you're gonna save water, uh, to be able to measure that. If you can measure something, obviously you can make it happen. They suggest that if you're gonna use the washing machine, make sure it's a full load. It uses the same amount of water, whether you've filled the washing machine up or whether you're using half of it. So um, fill the washing machine up and, and do so. Although apparently I think there are half load settings and things, which if you want to get a little bit technical and get to know your washing machine quite well, that might work too. Make sure you turn off the tap when you're not using it. For example, when you're cleaning your teeth, um, it's pretty obvious really, I suppose. You know, you wouldn't probably walk out of a room for a penny period of time and leave the light on. So why would you leave the tap on when you're actually not using it? Install a water button. This is something that I need to do this winter so that you can actually store water that's, that's just rainwater that would get um, dissipated and use that to water your garden. Make sure you fix any, any dripping taps that you have. Um, obviously, that's a complete waste of water, isn't it? If, uh, and if you've got a water meter, you're probably paying for that. So good idea to fix any dripping taps that you've got. And also, don't use a hose pipe. Use a, use a, a watering can. So it uses much, much less water. Um, I don't know about you, but I tend to get a bit carried away when I've got a hose pipe in my hand. So uh, if, I'm, if I'm using a watering can, I've got to traits back to the tap to, to fill it up. I'll, I'll probably use less and be a bit more economical with it. So there's some ideas. Um, there's some more actually on, the, on their website. But there's some ideas you could use to use less water, which I think we all agree is a great idea. You know, there's not enough water in the right place. And shortage of water obviously can be a real problem for us and for other communities.